Hey everybody, Wildcat here, and today's mission we're going to do the Wong Cars. Um, just running up here to show you where the Wong's automobile place is. Yeah. Hey girl. I never buy clothes at Zeb. What a shit. Alright, so in order for these missions to become available, uh, this is where the Wong's car is, um, you have to uh, do the mission. Yay K boom boom and also have to get bronze in all the lessons in the driving school which then makes this place available to buy there will be an icon right here in the front for buying it uh, you, once you purchase it then you uh, can do the four missions uh, that are associated with it and after you do the third mission it will unlock the import exports so I'm just gonna run on back down here. Oh, come on. And we'll get the missions going. Read them and weep, cabron. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The great new business venture that's supposed to save all of our worthless lives? You want to get in? Look, I thought this was supposed to be our foot on the ladder. I thought we were going to make this place work. Hey, it might look like we plan cars, but we actually plan it. Don't worry, sweet baby. We're about to go get our first project. At last, it works. What works? Oh, just a simple bit of electronic wizardry and intellectual bombast that hacks into the state-of-the-art satellite immobilization technology on board our target vehicle. <laughs> oh, me. I don't know what he just said, but it's on. Yes, it's on. Wait, what's on? This gadget is set to pick up on cell phone signals. Each time she makes a call, it will give you the new location. You have to stay close if you're going to get an updated position, though. Okay? For sure. Good looking, Z. So on this one, basically what we have to do is uh, catch up to her, and then uh, once we do, we got to spin her out so we can steal her car. So we kind of have to follow the, the shots on the mini-map to catch up to her, and there she is. Shortcut here. So now we have to try and uh, do the pit maneuver on her. She's going to turn there and she should turn there so we'll come across this way. Ah! Try and do the pit maneuver without destroying the car. Ah! <laughs> Thought she was going to turn down that road there. Come on, spin out. There we go. Oh, she didn't bite that time. That is gnarly. So, I'm not really winning too well with this pit maneuver, am I? <laughs> Ah, too far up our car again. It's kind of hard to judge the distance with the view we have. Maybe if I did it from the inside the car, maybe get a better view at where I am lined up here. Oh, she slowed down there. On me. Oh, you bugger. Oh, man, I'm gonna destroy my car. 
<laughs> Might have to do this again. It's terrible. turning out to be quite the chase. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. <laughs> Jeez. The spot there, you do it right where, right in the beginning there where I cut across that field once I got behind her. Uh, you do it right, you can spin her out right there. But of course, I didn't quite connect properly there, so ended up with a longer chase. Dips in the road really bounce you around a bit. Out of the way. Next the man. Wanna be? one in the bag all right so we're gonna do uh, Wong's car mission number two hey Carl there's two cars on the list they say and they're in the showroom across town let's go get them <laughs> I always admire your direct approach huh Bray Okay, let's go get those wheels. Hey, bud, what's going on? Oh, Come on, out of my sight, dummy. What's up, dummy? Where are you at? I like this place, you know. Where? San Piero, man. My home will always be the Varios and El Corona. There but this go. city, <laughs> it has something gentle about it. Don't molest me, please. some of the things he say? I don't know, man. It ain't all bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna become an alien hunter, Holmes? <laughs> I'll take a rain check on that one. Nothing ever easy. All right, this can I help a you crazy. two, uh, gentlemen? Yeah, you can help us by going to help some other motherfucker. Y yeah, the, that sounds like a good idea. All right, CJ, it's time to roll. Just follow the leader. You better keep up. Ah, uh, you a maniac, yes, say? Yeah, reading you loud and clear. Come on, DJ, see if you can keep up with Caesar Field. Follow him. Read the trail up the hill. Read the fucking king. Whoa! This trail driver must be kidding himself, huh? Hello, 
Get caught by the tram. Dang it. <laughs> hey, CJ, watch this. Like, bro. Follow me down the hill, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're like in Amiga. I wonder if you wait on the night drum until he says it. Rather than blowing it off in the beginning okay, because Caesar, he has it on there. Let's get these cars back to the garage. Okay, CJ. Hey, I know a quick route. Hello, cop. Put back again in your touch. Get out of Oops. the fucking road. Ah. Thought I was going to make that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just do mission number three here for Wong's cars. Yeah, I got it. It's in the manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it. Damn. Hey, C's, your boy is here. He ain't my boy. Hey. We're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Mom, sweet, smoke. I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Hey, Carl! I got a rap to you, Holmes. I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading up cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Okay, let's go peep it out. See what we can see. How are we gonna steal a car off a container ship, Wolves? You know, the same way they got on. Use a dockside crane. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders, and I'm afraid of heights. Okay, I use the crane. You better be ready to crack the container. That's 
the ship, ZJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the crane. Give me a second. Well, be quick. I don't want to be caught slipping out here. Oh, Jesus. Get out of my face. Unbelievable. Look at this. It keeps going to the car. I can't believe that. Mark with spray paint? Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? Not this one, CJ! No luck, CJ! Try another! I don't think it really matters uh, which order you grab these things off of here. I think it'll always be in the third one that you take off or the last one you take off. Gives you a good little introductory to using the crane. You know, when you're throwing the cars up there, of course, you don't want to hit the, the boat with the car. It's not as damaged, you don't get the full value. Drop them. Okay, CJ! This is the one! Good work, Hobbs! Now for a little shootout. I could do with some help! Oh, I don't have any of those. Okay. Hey! Hold it right there! I could do with oh, some help, CJ! Right there, you thieving bastard! Let's just grab the car and go! There gotta be an easier way to earn a living than this! Sure, huh? I guess. But what else you qualified for? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. A little shortcut here. Was like a piece of tortilla, Holmes.
Right. So our import export is now open. Um, before I save it and do the last mission, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Cadillac down there. Or Cadillac. Duh. My stretch. The limo. So of course, uh, the less damage on the vehicle, the more money you get. So it's generally why I usually take them in here this way. Don't have to worry too much about traffic. But there is a little gnarly bump right in here that'll be going too fast to screw you up, especially going the other way. I should get full price for this car because it's no damage. Unless I hit the ship with it. Oops. I'm gonna bring her up nice and high just to make sure I cleared the ship. <laughs> So now is when you kind of want to keep your eyes open for uh, cars that are on the list here. So you can bring them in. Because of course the import export is required for the 100% completion. Now there's a motorbike over there and if you grab that, that starts one of the side missions. Um, I think it's called an asset mission. And you have icons that you gotta collect and you gotta jump up and around to, to get them. Uh, the original game, I was never able to do it. I never completed that one. And I just come over here one time and just did a little test uh, to see if, it, if that was available at the time. And of course I got on the bike and it started that mission. And I said, okay, well, cool, it is. So I gave it a whirl. I wasn't recording and of course I completed it. Yes. I was like, you got to be kidding. You know, I was never able to complete that all the times I had the game uh, since the original release. And, you know, now I'm putting it up in videos and I don't record it and I completed it my first shot, you know. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, but I'll probably do, do it again uh, to kind of give an idea how to do it. I just didn't want to do it with this video. Well, this is a long jump back home, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and do the last mission here. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she drives like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stops for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity! You know what? I think I got an idea. Thank you. 
while. It'd be a little difficult trying to do this with the... the heck are these guys taking me? I should just follow my own instincts here. So what we have to do is get up on the freeway because we have to get up in front of her. Said following the the uh, GPS a lot of times is not a good way to go. The hard part with this one, of course, you got to get in front of her, drop it right in front of her. So unfortunately, with the gamepad, uh, in order for me to drop the spike belts, I got to hit the uh, up arrow on the D button, which, of course, is my thumb I'm using for steering the car. <laughs> so we'll see how this works. Ooh, that worked out pretty good. Got her first shot. Awesome. Uh. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her. Just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that function repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh shit, all over my clothes? Well, this one was pretty easy. I remember spending, uh, you know, having to do it quite a few times with the original version before I was able to pass this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You slow down and start hitting everything in sight. Alright, so that ends uh, the Wang Car missions. That was his last one. And as you can see now, that'll start making money so you can collect uh, some money from that. Uh, $8,000 a day.